Good morning, my dear children. This is P. Vasanthu Kumar, social teacher from DAV High School, SDSTPS, AP Genco. Children, today we are going to learn the second part of natural resources. Learning objectives of this lesson. By the end of the chapter, you will be able to learn Describe Renewable Resources. Now let us learn about Renewable Resources. Renewable Resources can be replenished or reproduced easily at a rate comparable or faster than its rate of consumption by humans. Some of them, example, sunlight, air, wind, tides, hydroelectricity, are continuously available and their quantity is not affected by human consumption. Many renewable resources can be depleted by human use but may also be replenished. Natural resources such as land, water, soil, plants and animals must be carefully managed with a particular focus on how management affects the quality of life for both present and future generations. Now, we are going to learn some of the renewable resources. Now, let us learn soil. The topmost layer of the land surface is called soil. This is the thin layer of material covering the earth's surface. Soil is formed by breaking down of rocks at or near the surface of the earth through various physical, chemical and biological processes by various factors such as the sun, water, wind and living organisms. This causes the rocks to expand during night time. These rocks cool down and contract. Remains of dead animals and plants form humus and make the soil fertile. You understood. How do you increase humus? Humus is a left after organic matter decomposes. Each time you add organic matter to the soil, it will increase the amount of humus in the soil. It is a slow process, but if organic matter is added each year, the amount of humus will continue to increase. We know, my dear children, soil is one of the most valuable natural resources available to us. It is used for growing crops. Topsoil is known as the habitat of many living organisms because this provides shelter for many living organisms. It is also used as raw materials for agriculture. Soil has vital nutrients for plants. Building soil is an important part of the building process. Pottery. Clay soil is used in making ceramics or pottery. Medicine. Soil is commonly used in antibiotics. Beauty products. Some beauty products are made with soil. We understood soil is very important in our life. So, the process of moving soil and cutting rock by water or air on the surface of the earth is called erosion. Water which flows with great speed and wind with great force cause breaking of rocks and transportation of soil. Water acts in the form of river, sea waves, glaciers, etc. Whereas wind takes many forms like storms, steady winds, etc. So, how do we protect our soil? We can conserve soil by planting more trees. Now let us learn another renewable resources 
air. We breathe air, so it's useful to us because we would suffocate without it and all the air on earth together called the atmosphere. It protects us from harmful space radiation and from most meteors which burn up in the atmosphere. Also, the atmosphere traps heat from the sun which up to a point is very useful. Moving air is called wind. Through this, we have a lot of uses. Some examples. To generate wind power, one of the most popular uses of wind energy is to generate electricity. Second one, in transportation, another use of wind energy is in transportation. Third one, for wind sports. Fourth one, in food production. Fifth one, for pumping water. Some examples. Now let us learn about water. Three-fourths of the Earth's surface is covered with water. There is still scarcity of water across the globe. This is because around 97% of total water is in oceans, which is salty and not fit for human consumption. In our daily life, it is a very important natural resource. There would be no life on earth in the absence of water. We can use water for drinking, cooking, bathing, cleaning, and irrigation purposes. Water is also an important source of energy. We should store water in dams. After that, when we release water, it's directly fall on the blades of huge turbines. As a result of water force, the turbines rotate with speed, there by generating electricity. Electricity generated from water is called a hydroelectricity. Steam is very useful to generate electricity in thermal power plants. Now let us learn another renewable resources, sunlight. Most of the energy we use comes from the sun. This is known as solar energy. Sunlight heats the earth's surface and is used by plants for a photosynthesis. Plants use the light from the sun to grow. Plants take the energy in light and store it in their roots and leaves. That energy feeds every living thing on the earth. We get food from these plants and so it is the source of energy in our body. Advantages of solar energy Among all the benefits of solar panels, the most important thing is that solar energy is truly renewable energy source. It uh, reduces electricity bills, diverse applications, low maintenance cost, technology development. Children, next session we will discuss about non-renewable resources in detail. Thank you, my dear children.